Welcome to the Church of Detail Jesus. What's up, y'all? It's Detail Jesus. How's it going? Oh my god, getting ready to film. All right, here we go. Today, we are going to talk about another scam that detailers do that pisses me the fuck off. Uh, and we're going to demonstrate this time also using this Porsche 911 that is here for all the things I talk shit about, PPF and uh, ceramic coating. And also, we're going to remove some really shitty window tint that was done by another window tint shop whose name I would love to say but can't uh, because that would be mean, uh, and replacing it with better quality job. So German is going to get things ready uh, so that we can demonstrate what I'm about to talk about, and then I'll start talking about it. Okay, bye, for five seconds. So, how a detailer will make your PPF bill even bigger is by telling you some bullshit. Like, oh, you need paint correction before PPF. It'll make it look nicer, and there you won't see the swirls underneath, and it'll make it less orange peely. And no, you're all full of shit. So we're going to demonstrate by doing paint correction on one section of this Porsche wing and not on the other. And then we're going to put one big piece of film over it. And we're going to show you that you don't need paint correction before PPF. Because PPF hides everything that is a surface level defect. With the, if the only thing PPF does not hide is a fingernail deep scratch or a chip. But swirls, water spots, bird poop stains for the most part, all this stuff is mo it usually disappears and looks perfect once you put PPF over it. And one of the reasons that you don't need to do paint correction and you can wrap over some shitty paint is because uh, when you pull the film off, you're most likely going to need paint correction anyway because the removal process is fairly brutal, uh, especially if it's older film. So it's not doing you any benefit to spend extra money on paint correction before doing PPF, especially if you plan to keep the car long term and remove the film eventually. All right, see how nice and swirly and marred up this paint is? So German's gonna do paint correction just in the one corner section and then we're gonna put PPF over everything. For the demonstration, we have it probably like 90% here and then over you see over here, still all fucked up and swirly. So German's gonna grab some PPF we're going to put some PPF over and it's going to be the same piece covering these sides and we're going to show you that it looks exactly the same on both sides after the PPF is applied and that your detailer or PPF installer or vinyl wrap installer because I've heard people try to offer it before vinyl wrap is scamming the fuck out of you. It does not make it adhere any better. It does not do anything. Actually, in fact, getting dust and shit in all the cracks and crevices that most detailers suck at cleaning out would actually have a harmful effect on adhesion, and you'll most likely end up with compound dust in all the edges or possibly in other areas because compound creates a shitload of dust. So you don't want to do paint correction before you do film work. Uh, even if you thoroughly wash the car, you can still end up with compound dust and shit getting under places. Or like we find cars that have uh, the detailers didn't get all of the shit out um, of all the like door jams and everything uh, after the paint correction and it's just a bunch of like white crap um, and you don't want that sticking or getting on the edges of your PPF because then you will be trimming it off and you won't have a nice wrapped edge. just applied some PPF, but also keep in mind that this PPF is fresh, so it kind of looks like shit anyway. And we just threw a heat gun over it, but self-healing is pretty useless on PPF. And it doesn't work that well. But anyway, let's start over here, just so you can see. Here is the nice, clean, corrected side. There's the PPF. It looks largely the same, except with some soapy haze. A few little swirlies here and there, because it's in the film. And then now we're on the side that is all jacked up underneath on this half. See? Looks exactly the same. Paint correction did absolutely nothing and was a waste of time and probably money. So we're going to pull it off now to show you that both sides, you know, still look the same uh, as before when we showed you. This is proof. Here's German. 
He is coming in for the big ripoff, pulling off PPF like a proper detailer. This is a learning experience for you guys. Always pull away from you. See how he's pulling away from him? So it's pulling it up. If you pull it against, or you pull, if you pull it the other way and just try to rip it off like a sticker, you have a much bigger chance of damaging uh, paint or having paint peel off. So you want to make sure that you are kind of pulling on it. That way it doesn't, for whatever reason, rip up paint most of the time. All right, so on camera, we just pulled that off. So here we'll go and show you all the nasty marring and stuff that was on this side. And then over to here, well, I mean, it's just watermarks now. Nice and clean and corrected. And all right, there you can see where the, the swirls start. Another thing is that when you're installing PPF, we're squeegeeing the film and pulling things back and squeegeeing water off the surface uh, and cleaning it with non-soft lint-free towels. All those things are also marring everything up. So again, paint correction is pointless, but some detailers, they just wanna maximize that ticket on you and or they're just stupid and they don't know. I think most of the time they're just stupid and they don't know. Uh, and then there's some that know that customers are stupid and they don't know either. And so they're like, let's tell them they need paint correction and it will make it look better. And some people try to argue with me that it reduces orange peel. Maybe if you wet sand the whole car, which is also stupid to do uh, on a brand new car, especially these days with how shitty paint is. And then to wrap over, that's like what, like fucking $12,000 you just dropped because you believe some dumbass and he just made a lot of money off you unnecessarily. So that is the lesson for today. Do not fall for the paint correction before PPF and vinyl wrap application scam. It is a giant scam and detailers are super gay for doing it. So detailers, if you didn't know that you didn't need paint correction, now you do. Detailers, if you knew that you don't need paint correction, don't be an asshole. Anyway, this has been today's episode of Detail Jesus and Friends. So anyway, guys, let's do some more stuff later. So if you're new to the channel and you want to do more stuff with us, make sure you hit the dingy button and so that you know when Detail Jesus drops a new video from Detail Heaven. If you are a returning subscriber, please don't unsubscribe. And also, whether you are subscribed or not subscribed or don't plan on subscribing or whatever, and, but you want something that's cooler than cars and more funny, Go to my other new channel that I'm trying to launch right now, Raunchy with Sam, or Dirty Jesus channel, and might possibly be. And that is the not safe for work content where we read embarrassing, dirty stories. And it is way more fun than detailing and cars because they are super gay. Anyway, and I don't worry, there is, uh, I'm not even going to go into that right now. Anyway, so have a great day, guys, and catch us next time on Detail Jesus. Detail Jesus signing off.